We got to a point where gradually we started saying to ourselves, you can't have them, you won't have them, we're going to stop you, and now we're going to try and make sure you can't have them anywhere in Southern Africa. Rhino has become one of the, the key species that is becoming endangered due to, to poaching throughout Africa, but now especially in South Africa. Up until now, uh, poachers have been increasing in numbers and they've become more militarized with weapons. And so of course, we've had to do the same. This is not sustainable. The only way to do this better is to bring in technology and things that they do not have. So the first thing people wonder is why are you coloring? animals that aren't rhino. So the Wildlife Protection Program aims to protect rhino populations by using mega herbivores as a sentinel to detect poaching activity within a reserve. If your poacher enters an area, it's more likely to come across an impala than a rhino. And so these animals will then behave differently. And as soon as there's a change in their behavior, we'll be able to detect where exactly a poacher is, when he entered, and where he's intending on going. So these sentinel animals have collars with a sensor on them. The sensor transmits information across a LoRa network, which is a low power, wide area network. What we're looking at is the sensor collecting the data on the animal that gets back to the 3G network onto the IBM IoT platform. That data is then analyzed real time for the specific patterns we're looking for. And all of that can be referred to as the latest evolution in the use of technology called the Internet of Things. Technology has become an integral part of conservation. Using technology, we are able to do far more and outcompete our competitors to ensure the survival of animals. This project being proactive allows us to catch the poachers well in advance before they even get close to rhino, hopefully saving animals' lives and our staff in the process. I don't think that us as humans have the right to destroy, but rather the responsibility to preserve.